Hello, hello, family. How you doing? It's Tuesday afternoon in Sweet Home Chicago. Rose is taking a nap, and it's my uh, lower voice, but I'm guessing she'll wake up in 10 minutes. We'll need to make her a snack, and we know how that goes. Um, but I'm excited because we're making an Italian wedding soup with turkey meatballs, nutrient-dense red lentil pasta, some other surprise fixings. We're gonna make keto uh, grain-free uh, garlic bread using my unbuns here, and we're gonna hang out. And I got a sweet promo code from uh, Kettle and Fire to share with you guys. Um, but I hope you're having a great day. Um, before we get started, say hello to the one and only Arthur T. Almacy the third. That's me. I'm here, and I'm happy to be talking with y'all. Richard Marcotte says, Wang Chung down, Bobby up. <laughs> uh, Richard uh, Art told me that uh, your beloved Dodgers are down one nothing, so hopefully they can come back. I also said that your beloved Southwest Airlines is going to start flying out oh, yes. of Chicago O'Hare next year. Yes. Uh, we're very, very welcome news to we're me. We're very excited to see that about the Southwest coming to O'Hare. Um, and what else is going on? Leave comments. Super down chat's below. going on. Oh, yeah, tell Camila me. Camila Dayone. 399. Well, Camilla. Thank you. That, I have not seen that name before. Great to see you. Why is it called Italian Wedding Soup? I actually don't know. I know how to make it, and that's about it. Um, before we get rocking and rolling, leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know what you're making for dinner. We're going to hang out and make some awesome soup. Now, traditional wedding soup is like a soup base, usually made with stock maybe um, some meatballs in there. We're using organic ground turkey from Costco. But what makes the soup is great is two things. Number one, instead of using water or broth or stock, we're using bone broth. Now, what do I always say about bone broth? I either make it, which we're gonna start doing now that it's getting cold out. I don't like to make it when it's warm, or I buy it. Kettle and Fire, Sting Man out of Austin, Texas. These guys do it right. And they always give us a promo code for 15% off, but they said they wanna do a 48 hour flash sale for 30% off with free shipping. That deal is unbelievable. So please click my link down below. We'll talk more about this later. But the flavor and texture and collagen and gelatin of this makes it great. And normally you put some kind of pasta in there. I'm not using starchy, carby, white flour pasta. I'm gonna use beautiful organic red lentil pasta. So it's fiber rich, nutrient dense, protein rich, and uh, a complex carbohydrate. We just got a super chat from Sandra Badia, $4.99. Thank you very much, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Welcome. I see a lot of people joining the Flav City um, community here. Oh, it's interesting. Art. Look, I don't see on the iPad the join button there. So uh, exactly. So, so here's the deal. Um, if you're watching on a desktop, you're going to see a join button right next to subscribe. You can join the Flav City community for $4.99 a month. But if you're on iPad, mobile or any kind of app it's not there you have to go to a browser now my question to you art is ooh we what's up with what's going on youtube you've had this out for over a year and you can't put it on the mobile version i'll talk to lindsey buckingham actually about you know that. what i have a call with uh my youtube partner manager tomorrow i'm going to ask him that very same question um so i love this kind of recipe because it's a one pot wonder we're going to make everything in my big luck crusade pot i'm preheating now over uh, low heat and it's veggie loaded with bone broth, with ground organic turkey, with nutrient dense pasta, with really good finishing olive oil. It's the kind of stuff you wanna make when the weather gets cold, which is actually not cold today, it's really beautiful. So let's get rocking and rolling. Let's Keep the on, questions uh, rolling in as Art and I continue along here. Thank I'm you gonna... for all the hellos, everyone. Maddie, Art, good to see you here. Am I, am I sharpening my knife right now, Art? What am I doing? Uh, rumor has it you're honing it. I'm honing, what's the difference between sharpening and honing my knife? Sharpening gets a knife sharp. Honing restores the sharpness to uh, well what it said. should be. Well said. A lot of people think that's sharpening. That's not. I actually have to send my knives into shoon. They're overdue. What a honing steel like that does is straightens the blade. Because when you chop, 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 your blade gets crooked. So it feels more dull. But as you straighten it like that, it feels sharper. But it's not actually sharpening it. Abraham Jimenez says, hi, Uncle Farturo, Bobby, <laughs> Desi, Rose, and Kara with a C. Wow, I appreciate that. Nice to see you, my friend. Okay, let's cut our onion. We're gonna blitz through a bunch of vegetables. And I really like to make these kind of soups and stews because I throw a ton of vegetables in there. This is breaking news. Renee is here and she has her official membership. Renee's got it. Icons working correctly. Art was troubleshooting Renee. She was she paid for the membership she and she couldn't get it. Somebody else fixed it for her. It wasn't me. Nice. Tom Tom Cruise and uh, Vanilla Sky. Tech support. I remember that line. 
remember a couple other ones too. <laughs> G, keep it G. Um, yeah, whenever I make these kind of things, I actually throw as many vegetables as humanly possible in here because it really fortifies them with um, nutrients and vitamins. But if you have a picky eater at home, like kids, this is so good because they're not gonna know it's loaded with the ends. They're just gonna scarf it down and ask for seconds and thirds. They're like, ooh-wee, mama, that's good. Or daddy. And actually in the cookbook coming out on December 1st, not this cookbook, or that cookbook, Art thought it was appropriate today because I bought some new book stands. He's like, hey, I keep seeing interviews of people on TV and they have like two of their books behind them. So he's like, you gotta do the same. So that's all art on, on the two there and a little shameless See, I suggested a third. I said three is one he and did, two actually. is none. He did. Um, but in our new five ingredient semi-homemade cookbook, we have a five ingredient Italian, we have this, this recipe, a five ingredient Italian wedding soup with meatballs and pasta. How do you do it with five ingredients? I'll tell you how. Ooh. It's by buying the best store-bought ingredients and products and Rayo's in this soup will change the game. Well, that's a perfect segue to this because Gochu Jang was wondering if you got Rayo's when it was on sale at Whole Foods, but then somebody just now said that it's on sale at Costco, two for $7.99. Yes, well, we talked about the Costco one in our video we did. Um, I still haven't compared the prices, uh, Gochu Jang, between the Whole Foods, but there's no way that the Whole Foods sale is cheaper. I mean, basically you're getting 50, six ounces for eight dollars there's no way someone go on the whole foods app right now tell me how much it is per ounce viviana says i thought it was quote you had me at hello <laughs> and what you had me at hello she thought that was a lot oh, that's a different movie that's right? a different movie we're talking about vanilla sky you had me at hello was what jerry mcguire or... jerry, Mag jerry mcguire I think. yeah I didn't um see it. speaking of the five ingredients semi-homemade cookbook it's available for pre-order on my Amazon shop page. So Art, if you come right here, first Super is the link chat. for the um, discounted kettle and fire. But as you go down, there's my Amazon shop page. And as you go down, there is also the pre-order link for my immune system boosting tea powder, which is coming out in mid-November. We have 16,000 people on the waiting list and we only have 15,000 products ordered, which means if you're not on the pre-sale list, you're probably not gonna get a crack at it with the first run because it's gonna go uh, very quickly. You just got a $15 super chat from Mr. Milwaukee Brewer. There he is. You should also ask your YouTube manager why notifications don't produce sounds even after trying every suggestion short of restoring the phone to factory condition. I don't know if they ever emit sounds, do they ever? I've never heard a sound. Yeah, if you have any uh, interesting questions you want answered, let me know. YouTube always has managers who reach out. Interesting questions time. dealing with technology, preferably. Yeah. And um, I don't really have any questions. They don't usually ever help you much. And they just want to like pretend like they're helping you, but ah, so can't hurt. At Whole Food Market, Rao, 24 ounces was $5.99, regularly $8.99. Okay, 24 ounces for $5.99. So no, it's nowhere near as good of a deal. Because what is, the bottles at Costco are what, this 28? This is 28 ounces for $4. Two of them. To, oh, oh, no, oh, okay. Four dollars. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. nowhere near as good. It's still good, especially if you're not a Costco shopper. But no one beats. I'm the king, and nobody beats me. We got Jonathan Hill in the house, who is apologetic because he hasn't been on, but he said he's been out of town. We won't hold it against you. Could we have don't you hold back. it against anyone. Annie P is in the house. Haven't seen your name in a while, but welcome back. Zori is here. Welcome, welcome. Annie P wants to know if Rose is around. She's sleeping. Uh, I think she just woke up from her nap. I tend to wake her up with my loud voice. So let's recap what's going on. We're making Italian wedding soup with turkey meatballs, tons of vegetables, some red lentil pasta, and we're doing it with kettle and fire bone broth. Fantastic stuff. This is great for many reasons. Why? Boom. Hey, Roast. How's it going, young lads? What's going on, sweetie? You're hungry. Well, she's making the baby sign up. You're hungry for... I'll make you some... Uh... I'll make you some cinnamon raisin keto toast with Kerrygold butter, Roast. I'll make you some toasty. Toasty for roasty. Up with Dan, see what he's doing. You can come up here, you and Kara. You're more than welcome to come up Hashtag here. Hashtag feed roasty. <laughs> yeah, that's, Tatiana, that's the Southwest Airlines flight attendant. Oh, nice. Tatiana's in the house. Love that free direct TV on Southwest Airlines. Hello, roasty. I don't think she needs a sweater. It's pretty warm in here. Mm, you just roasty, my sweet toasty. I'm gonna throw a piece of toast in for her. Yeah. Say hello to Roasty, everyone. Hey, Roasty, I'm gonna take some broccoli here. He's gonna chop it. 
I'm gonna chop a broccoli. Chop and broccoli. So we are talking about bone broth. It's good for two reasons. Number one, it's amazing for your immune system. Why is it good for your immune system? Because it's rich in something called chondroitin. It's also great because it's rich in gelatin and collagen, which is not just good for your immune system, but it's great for your, uh, your joints and your hair and your skin. But because it's rich in collagen and gelatin, it also adds a great body to the soup. Body, Ray body, what up, right? Um, so that's why I love using it in any soup or stew or chili. It can be expensive, but 30% off, 48 hour flash sale going on. Use promo code Flav City. Click that link right here, Art. It ain't gonna last. When I did this on uh, Instagram last week, we almost sold them out. So they wanted to do it on YouTube. If you're not gonna make your own bone broth, something that I will start doing more that the weather is uh, cooling up now, Buy Kettle and Fire because it's the best in class. And with 30% off, it's a no-brainer. Michael Kobitka with a $5 super chat. Hey, Bobby, can you check out Porter Road and let us know if you'd approve them for their pasture-raised chicken and pork? Looks like they do it right. Um, you've you, never Bobby. heard of them? I mean, if they're a local farm... Can I have that piece, Karen? Thank you. If, that's, if they're a local farm... Thank you. Uh -huh. I, I'm pretty confident they're doing it right. Uh, I keep finding more and more that popping up. Uh, and for chicken, I'm telling you, that one we did from Cook's Venture from Thrive Market is the best pasture-raised chicken. Yeah, Rosie. But I keep getting more locally sourced, like, pork uh, from these different farms. Like, there's one around the Midwest called Kinney Kinnick, and it's so good. It puts any of the factory farm pork to uh, shame. Actually, last time I made this two weeks ago on a Sunday on Instagram stories, I used that ground pork and made meatballs for the soup. How good was that, babe? And then we're going to use what Rose has. We're going to use this Rose. This is my favorite pasta. It's made of red lentils, Rose. Instead of starchy white flour, which usually has glyphosate and uh, stripped of all nutrition, we're using nutrient-dense red lentil pasta combined with the meatballs, the bone broth, and the vegetables. Make you strong. Strong. Stronger. Right? Sarah Morris wants to know if you can use ground beef instead of ground turkey. Yes. Ground turkey, ground beef, ground pork, ground chicken. I realize it's like to speed me. And also, using a combination of ghee with the bone broth is magical. And this is my favorite ghee, as you guys know. Thrive Market. Pasture raised ghee is the way to go. Um, there was also a question Hey, can you recommend any halal collagens? Because apparently a lot of the collagen is not halal. Um, well, I can say if you can't find beef collagen you want, then uh, Vital Protein makes a marine based collagen that I would check out. Uh, and if you're plant-based, uh, Sun Warrior makes a plant-based collagen. That's really good, too. You can come in here if you want. Everyone say hello to the one and only Kara with a C. That's right. So, uh, onions, cauliflower, red bell peppers, zucchini. And then last night, raise your hand if you saw my story when I made the uh, keto uh, the noodle stir-fry with eggs, veggies, and those salmon cakes. I saved the stalks here. Yes, my sweet. I saved the stalks of the baby broccoli, and I just figured I'd chop them up tonight to get some. <laughs> Saying hi. Hi, everyone. Say hello, Rose. Rose. Hi. Say, ho say hello to Jodell Fields. Jodell <laughs> just gave $20, and a, you are amazing, and there's a pair that's dancing around. Well, that, oh, thank you. Hello, that's for you, Rosie. Man. That's for you. The, see the amazing pair right there? Look. Look at the pair. You're amazing, Rose. Isn't that cool? Huh? Yes. So the key to making this soup, because it's super simple, is to cook down all of the veggies until they're very soft and jammy. What happens when you do that? You really bring out the natural sweetness in them. So, all right, let's take a visual now of the pot here. I'm going to add a little more, but see how much vegetables are in here? And then make it, take a mental snapshot right now. And then do it again in... 15 back, minutes, but I do want to back add a... Jack, do it again. Exactly. I wanted to add a couple carrots in there, too. Here's how simple the recipe is, and I could have actually put it in the description box. I just forgot. Just saute any vegetables you want, hearty vegetables, then follow it with five cloves of garlic. Then add about three quarters of a cup of the That's best buttery. pasta sauce in the world, Rayo's. Cook that for a couple minutes, then add the kettle and fire bone broth. Let it cook for 25 minutes over a simmer. In the meantime, boil some of the red lentil pasta. Form your turkey meatballs with salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of almond flour in there, Rostina. And then um, combine everything at the end. Dunzo. Delicious. 
absolutely delicious. Like I said, there's a five ingredient version in the upcoming cookbook. And it's so darn good and it makes you realize that if you know how to cook and you know how to buy best in class ingredients that deliver flavor and nutrition, you can make the easiest recipes. And that's why this book I think is gonna be so popular because anyone can make the recipes and it teaches you how to buy the best quality products at the grocery store, which everyone wants to do, right? And that's what the book's all about. And then the Bobby Approved app will be a great follow-on to the cookbook, which should come out before the cookbook, to like help you really accelerate the learning process of shopping. Shop to your drop, Rose. Hey, you. Hey, how's your toast? Can Daddy have a piece of toast, Rose? That looks really good. Can I have a piece, Rosie? Yeah, he's working up an appetite here. Can I have a piece, please? Wow. There's a lot of butter on there. That was so nice. That's good. Yes, thank you. You're very sweet of the daddy. Such a sweetie. Mm -hmm. Rose had a great walk today for a couple hours. Oh my God, Art and I were at Trader uh, Target today. For so long, the video took forever. We wanted to do like a Target haul. It's going to come out on s Sunday. And um, there's so many Waldos, or employees there, stocking up every aisle. We, we couldn't do the video. We kept getting interrupted. We ran into some Flav City fans. And what did we do, Art? We asked for their help. We needed a diversion. They ran interference for us. This one guy would not leave the aisle, so they tried to get him to show him where a product was, but he was, he was too lazy. He would, they like, yeah, it's over there. We're filming the whole thing. We were hoping he would actually walk them over there, but he wouldn't. He wouldn't leave his post. He wouldn't leave his post. So we spent like two hours there. My back was hurting from being on my feet so long. And then we went to Costco afterwards and we got, what's back in stock, y'all? What's back in stock? Bottle service. Boom! Check that out, Art. This is the best maple syrup you're ever going to taste in your life. It's bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. It's really high quality maple syrup. Can someone go to their website? Is it Vermont or is it Canadian? If memory serves me correct, it's Canadian. Well, if memory serves me correct, Cindy and Wayne in Texas gave us a super chat. Oh, I know Cindy and Wayne. $4.99 and a comment here. Introducing your channel to my mom, Joan, who is visiting us this week. She is from Chicago Thank land you. too. I believe Cindy and Wayne sent us a present one time, right Rose? Thank you, Cindy and Wayne. Uh, this stuff is fantabulous. We love it. And Art actually was at Costco yesterday. He sent me a text, said, guess what's back? Banana, back again. Maple syrup's back. Tell Bobby now. <laughs> uh, yeah, Milwaukee Brewer thought it was Vermont. I thought it was Canadian, but either way, it's top notch. Art and I saw a bottle, which you'll see in tomorrow's Walmart video. It was maybe, what, half this size, Art? Half this size or less for literally around the same price. It was... Loco en la cabeza. Stang man's happy about it being back. Yeah, dude. It's a seasonal item, even though I would totally crush that year round. Um, and then, oh, let me show you something we got at Target. Folks are New York. Uh, Go to Jang says New York's Hudson Valley. Maddie says it says New York. Hudson Valley? Maple syrup? I didn't know they produced any there. That's cool. Maybe they feed it to the ducks too. Very posh. Yeah, right. So a little bit of salt to draw out the moisture because we're not trying to caramelize anything roasty. And then a little bit of pepper. I know it says distributed by someplace in, what does it say, New York? Hmm. Well, Art always has issues with companies that like are distributed by someone else or a different Double location. Airplanes. He's always like, well, who's making it if exactly. someone else is distributing it? It's kind of like certified mail versus registered, right, Art? Not really, but go on. <laughs> Not all certified mail is registered, but all registered mail is certified. So I guess... To put a little bit of content to what you just said, you can assume that it's made somewhere else, but distributed in New York, so it's not exactly the same thing? Maybe. And it's organic, know. which maple syrup doesn't have to be. But man, check this out at Costco. These guys owe me a commission. I'm driving so much business for them. So what did we get today at Target? I probably got four bags of this. Art. Look, I don't know if they have it marked at the wrong price, but this is pre-cooked, 100% wild rice, and the ingredients are just... Water, where's the ingredient? Water and wild rice. Now, pay attention. What's the size here, Art? It's 8.5 ounces. So let's call it a half a pound. The price was $3. Number one, 
Wild rice is in a shortage in this country because California farms have really been affected by COVID. Number two, if you happen to find any kind of wild rice around that's raw, uncooked, it's about eight to $12 a pound. Yet this one that's pre-cooked and just wild rice is $6 a pound. So I talked about it in the video and then I cleared the shelf and took it home with me and it's pre-cooked. I love these pre-cooked grain packets, especially the ones from Aldi because you can make really quick semi-homemade meals. And we have a five ingredient semi-homemade chicken, pesto and veggie plate in the new cookbook coming out with Aldi grain packet or this one, pesto store-bought, best in class one, some chicken and some vegetables. This is a home cook's best friend. When I saw this price, I mean, I freak because there's some, it's like a, an arbitrage opportunity. So I scooped them all, Rose. So I that maple syrup, it. I scooped it. I that maple scooped syrup it. is in Viviana country. She says Dover Plains is literally three miles up the road from me. Are you serious? That's crazy. You should go visit. And they don't even pay attention. I tagged them on Instagram a few times last year. They never like saw the message. It's like, bro, let's go get into the 21st century, right? Welcome to the future, Rose. Rose, daddy is getting hungry. Can you feed daddy another piece with that butter? I want the big butter piece. Can daddy have that one? Michael Kabitka says, no wonder there was none left when I went to Target today. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, that was daddy's piece. I wanted the big butter one. Viviana says she's going to go check daddy's. them out. She's going to check them out tomorrow. Yes, check them out. Let me know, Vivi. Send Art and I pick. Bros, can I have that piece, please? Andy Lazaro feedback? is getting married this Sunday. Well, early congratulations to you, Andy. Yeah. Daddy needs a piece of bread, Rose. She took the biggest butter piece because I told her you saw it, didn't you? And she's like, um, can you feed daddy that piece, Rose? Dad's hungry. Can you pick up that piece and give it to dad? Okay, I need to call tech support. What? Um, um, what? I'm going to eat you the... Oh, oh, oh. Stacy Schuler, I think you need to talk to Renee Denham. Stacy says, Art, I signed up as a member. My comments are not coming up green. Renee, what did you do to fix it? Because I don't know the answer. Oh. So she just did, she goes like this. I come to her, she goes, how? Girl. Tricky. Ooh. Tricky. See, I share with you, you want some collagen water, Rose? Not that you need any collagen in your- A little trickster on our hands. In your cheeks, you have enough collagen. You are a trickster, Rose. <laughs> Tricky, my trickster. Huh? So another reason why I love this recipe is because it's easy, right? Just set it and forget it. We're gonna make some homemade garlic, uh, butter, and then we're gonna use this art. Uh, I really implore you to try it out if you can find it and if you feel like spending the money. The Unbuns are keto grain-free dinner rolls. They're unbelievable. What's even better than this is they're tortillas. But look at the ingredients. Super, super clean. And I believe it's, uh, how many net carbs per? Five, five net carbs per, but they're really, really tasty. Now Desi loves, I went through all of our un-tortillas they're amazing. Almost have a fresh kind of like flower. They're fantastic. Christy, so Christy says, check Rose's right ear. She acted like it hurt her. Uh, let's see, young laddie. Lassie. Lassie. Hello, Lassie. Hi. Come on, see. Oh, she just gave me a scalp. She's a stink eye. She actually doesn't like when you touch her ears. She doesn't have a, uh, an infection, but she just doesn't like when you touch her ears that much. Tea we tea asked the doctor so. about it. Say again? I'm sure it's just because of the teething and everything. Yeah, the teething. The doctor said it's totally fine. Okay, so we got a thousand people watching. Keep sharing the stream. We're cooking down a boatload of vegetables here with salt and pepper and ghee. Then we're gonna add some rayos to make it quick and easy, semi-homemade. Then we're gonna add the bone broth. Jackie had them speak. She just added $24.99 to the Super Chat What's total. Hi, Flav City family. Bobby, please come to my Costco on Long Island and do a book signing. We would love to meet you all in person, especially Sweet Rose. I, I I'll let you do a Costco tour. What I really want to do is go to the Costco in the Salt Lake City, because it's the biggest one in the country. And then I think it'd be funny to go to the Costco in Hawaii just to see what they have. Um, so like I said earlier, the best in class Bobby approved uh, collagen rich bone broth is the key to this recipe because the bone broth adds texture and so much collagen, gelatin, and chondroitin. They hooked us up with 30% off roasty. So right here, once again, we got to take advantage. Nobody's watching you, Bobby. They're, watch, they're watching roast. Nobody's watching oh, you. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, 48 hours only. 30% off using code Flav City at Kettle and Fire. Check it out. Recipes are not the same without this bone broth, but you can also make your own. We'll do that pretty soon. Uh, down here is my uh, pre-order the new cookbook, five ingredient semi-homemade meals, and sign up for the Flav City immune tea. We got Laura O'Neill just joined the Flav City uh, channel membership. Uh, like I said, channel memberships went alive a week ago, today-ish. 
We have about 70 members. It's five bucks a month. Um, there's a join button right below the video, but it doesn't show up on mobile or apps, right, Art? On the ones I have, yes. Yeah, I haven't seen it on mobile. So if you want to join, go to my channel on a browser and um, you can join there. It's just fun. Everyone gets cut. Can someone use the custom emoji? Because I'm not signed in here. D Brown is alerting me to Unbuns at Woodman's. Oh, oh, wow. So if you're at Woodman's, check out Unbuns. Someone use the rose emoji now. Do uh, colon, rose, colon. I'm just not signed into my uh, laptop here. Costco and Kona between the airport and the Airbnb. A must stop before you go to the rental. Yeah, I'll bet, Marcotte. I want to take Southwest to... Uh, Hawaii next time. We just got a super chat from Kanan K, four ninety nine. Love from India. Good to see people eating healthy food. Our family produce most of the vegetables that we cook in our lives. Love to hear that. That's awesome chicken. sauce. That's awesome. Oh, there's the art and there's the rose emoji. Beautiful. Join button is on Android. Good to know. Tijuana, Mexico, en la casa. Let's see here. Beautiful. So keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. The girls are gonna go play. Uh, let's do a little cleanup here. Then we can start making our garlic butter, which is very hard to make. It's garlic and butter, all right? It's so, so difficult. <laughs> we got all our vegetables. D Brown wants to do a meetup at Costco in Utah. That's a good idea. Can you imagine if we went there and we had like 200 people <laughs> walking to Costco there? They'd freak out. So I wanna start doing more uh, videos about what's on sale now. Is that something you guys want to see? So I think every month when a new Costco sale comes, I'll do a video. But Aldi fines change every week. So if you're interested, let me know. I'm thinking about going to Aldi tomorrow morning to film a video. What's on Aldi fines right now? Because actually next week or when the sale changes tomorrow, some good stuff is coming. And I thought it could be a weekly series if that's something you're interested in. Because I know people like me love sales. So Is Baline salt a good brand of salt? Um, yes, it is a natural sea salt. Any kind of natural unrefined salt I'm down with. Just my favorite and actually on the Amazon shop page is the, did I salt this? Oh yeah, we did. The uh, Celtic sea salt. I think uh, Gochujang was recommending that you add a little wine to your sauteing vegetables. I'll do that, Gochujang, after they saute. Oh, I forgot to put the link for the, um, the keto wine. Darn it. I'll do that uh, on Thursday because keto wine is going to go great with that. Rachel C is a gold member. So excited. Ooh, look at you, Rachel C. You're going to get the part of the uh, private, uh, the private uh, live stream. Or did you go to the top level, Rachel? That gives you a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Yeah. It'll be fun to see. They're not even a week old yet, so as we get larger, it'll be fun to do uh, the smaller sessions for the live stream. Just one a month for our members and, uh, you know, just continue to expand the amount of, uh, amount of emojis on there and stuff like that. Please do all these sales weekly. Okay. There's some really good ones coming out tomorrow. And they have this cauliflower crisp coming out tomorrow. It's by a hippie. And I've never seen ingredients like this. And I pray to God my Aldi has it. It's like cauliflower, brown rice, coconut milk powder, and no oil at all. Because most of the ones on the market have yeast extract and sunflower oil. It looks unbelievable. Go to the Aldi finds and see what I'm talking about. Mandy just joined today. Let's see here. Oh my God, Renee had to spend all day on Saturday, right? What is Italian wedding soup? It's basically a vegetable-based soup with tomatoes and meatballs and pasta, but I'm bobbifying it, right? We're using organic ground turkey for the meatballs. We're using red lentil pasta instead of starchy pasta with no nutrition. And we're using bone broth instead of water or stock. And because Goju Jing said, I'm gonna fortify it with a little bit of that Keto uh, red wine. You know what? I gotta put the link in there because I promised you guys. Is dairy inflammatory for bones or gut? Um, I wouldn't say it's inflammatory, but I say it could be mucus producing. Uh, so that's why we stay away from it. All right, go selfie style. Say hello to everyone for a second. I'm gonna add that link because I want you guys to try out that keto wine. Howdy, everybody. Good to be here. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Nick. I think. Italian Sopa de Albondigas, that's right. Hello, Madeline. Hello, Kelly. Here's why. It's wedding soup, that's correct. Annie P is in the house. Brad Heil is in the house. Renee, I don't think I helped you. You helped yourself. So you figured it out, and maybe you can help uh, any other folks having the same issue. Inner peas, Connie, Adam, Shivani, you're welcome. Isabel's in the house. 
Walmart has rallies. Yes, they do. Hello to everybody. So it's good to be here with you guys. Happy Tuesday. Anybody doing Taco Tuesday today? Okay. Well, thank you, Yvette. All right, I put it there. All right, let's see if it pops up magically. Wow, it's so cool. Did it work? Let's see. Let's see how this Thank you, Viviana. Viv. Good to see you, Rebecca. Girl. So let's see here. Yeah, there. It's there now. So this is the keto wine. Now, let me just tell you what keto wine is. So uh, this link here gets you uh, $10 off shipping automatically. So wine, the wine industry is actually one of the most like shrouded in mystery as there is because almost all wine has added sugar to the fermentation process. Almost all wine uses chemicals, up to 75 chemicals. And I believe it's those chemicals that'll give you a headache and make you feel bad. We're too much alcohol. This is keto wine. What would you say? We're too much alcohol. <laughs> this is keto wine. Yeah. This is keto wine. Keto wine means there's zero added sugar. So a cup of this will have about 0.3 grams of carbs and sugar. A normal cup has 3.5, big difference. And this has zero chemicals. It's organic, dry farmed, meaning they add no water. Natural rainfall only, makes the root of the vine go deeper. It tastes great, it won't give you a hangover, and it's 100% keto. Uh, click my link down below. This stuff is delicious. This one's roughly an extra two or four dollars. It's called La Catura, but the Palo 71 line uh, is fantastic. The rosé, the white, or the red is great. You remind, a little bit now. You reminded me of a Mitch Hedberg joke when you're talking about the uh, wine. Tell me, yeah. I want to remind you of that. It's like, I like to drink red wine. This girl says to me, how can you drink red wine? It doesn't give you a headache? I say, yeah, eventually, but the first and the middle part are great. <laughs> I'm not gonna not do something just because of what happens at the end. It's like, hey, Mitch, you want an apple? No, eventually it'll be a core. Here go. All right. I love when our Jimmy Hedberg jokes. We got Paula Russell in with a five dollars super chat. Paula, cheers. Thank you. Cheers. We got wine. We got soup. We got thirty percent of bone broth. We got the keto family in the house. The Flav City family. June is in the house. We got Welcome. that amazing pre-cooked wild rice for six dollars a pound at Target. This was actually the aisle. I wanted to film that because they had this and another green packet I love. And this Waldo was there for half an hour. He wouldn't leave. And we tried to get him out by using another Flav City family we ran into to distract him, but it didn't work. So eventually he finished the video hidden in the diapers aisle, being like, okay, I can't do it there, but this is what I'm talking about. This is what it's good. What are you doing? Thanks for, Big A says, thanks for the code. I saved $35 at Kettle and Fire. That's what it's all about. This can be expensive. Now, when you make stuff yourself, bone broth, it is way cheaper. Buying at the grocery store is pretty pricey. With 30% off, it makes it much more doable, but it's still way cheaper to make your own, something I will start doing more on Instagram stories, and I'll tell you how to do it here. But having this either in your cupboard or fresh in your fridge is a must, because I drink a cup of this every day, because it's great at immune boosting and gut health. And it's great for your hair. It makes my hair look like Sofia Vergara, right? Kiki's Corner wants to know what kind of fat you're sauteing those vegetables ghee. in. Ghee. And that's another great point. I think the combination of ghee, when it cooks with the bone broth, adds a really luscious texture. And in the book, we have a, the new book, not this one. Uh, in the new book, we have a chapter called It's All About That Broth. And there's about five or six recipes that are soupy and stewy. And all recipes call for bone broth. And there is a five ingredient bone broth recipe in the book, bone broth and ghee. Cause when you combine those together, almost like it emulsifies with the fat and the gelatin, it's like luscious and delicious, I'm telling you. So Art, check it out. This has been cooking for probably, how long you guys? Almost 15 minutes, right? It's cooked down a lot. And it's getting nice and crusty in the bottom of the pot. See that? I actually want that, that's fond. That's gonna release into the soup. So let me chop up some garlic really quick. All right, why didn't I put the garlic in here before? Uh, you don't want it to burn. It gets kind of nasty if ah, it burns. Ah, that is correct. Wow. Don't show it now, but Rose is on the potty eating Desi's paleo shortbread cookies. Rose, you're so funny. Who potties and eats? Desi has this really cool paleo sweet book, and these are paleo shortbread cookies made with um, organic palm shortening and really good ingredients. Oh my God, they're great. Inner peas, my favorite Mitch Hedberg. I bought a donut and they gave me a receipt for the donut. I don't need a receipt for a donut. I'll give you the money, you give me the donut and a transaction. <laughs> yes, um, Jackie in Long Island, I will post the recipe for the homemade brum broth. Actually, you know what, Jackie? I will do that. I have it typed up from the cookbook. So uh, next time I use bone broth in a live stream, I'll just put the recipe in there. You need grass-fed bones and you're gonna wanna get those from the Flav City uh, 
fan that started that company, uh, Shepherd Meat. You need uh, marrow bones, neck bones, and uh, knuckle bones. So grass-fed bones. You need apple cider vinegar, onion, celery, carrot, water, and a pressure cooker. Under pressure. That's Maritza, $5 super chat. Thomas DeLauer says 100% grass-fed is not totally grass-fed. Is this true? He says only grass-fed and finished counts. I am confused. No, I'll, yeah, I'll have to talk to him about that. 100% grass-fed is the same as grass-fed and grass-finished. I think um, he might be a little confused on that one. I got to talk to him about it. Bobby, when will your app be available? Uh, that's a Desi question, but I'm guessing late November, which is perfect timing for the book, because when you get the book, it's a great companion to the book, because the app literally teaches you how to shop. It has the barcode scanner on there. We got a thousand people watching nice. right now. And has all my info from my books on there, so it's gonna be your ultimate shopping companion. Okay, let's add a oh, let's add a little more salt here. Come on, Rose. You're still eating your shortbread cookie. Lady Rose is so dainty. She's like cookies. Milwaukee, cookies Milwaukee tea, Brewer says, if we rely on the reliability of English, it would seem that 100% grass-fed would be fine. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, English can be manipulated greatly by food purveyors and stuff like that. By the way, has anyone at their Costco yet? I know, all, oh, Stangman has. Has anyone bought and tried those 100% grass-fed Wagyu burger patties? Um, Chris, how was it? Leave a comment down below. They still don't have it at ours, and I'm dying to have them. That being said, Art and I did have that steak. How good was that steak on Friday? It was delicious. Art? I had some leftover uh, steak with my eggs on Sunday. It was simply delicious. Maddie says, I think I might go back to meat after 12 years of vegetarian. I'm, I might just want to, so chicken or broth alone first for my stomach and digestion yes. sake. Yes. Thoughts, maybe some digestion enzymes. Yes, Maddie, baby steps, right? Bob Wiley, baby steps, uh, what about Bob? Start with bone broth. Because think about what bone broth is made with, bones. It's the byproduct of killing an animal that you're using the prime cuts for. And it's a pasture-raised, grass-fed animal. This is the bone, start with that. Speaking of that, do yourself a favor. I'm not sure if we talked about this. There's a new documentary on Netflix called Kiss the Ground. Kiss the Ground, it's unbelievable. It's narrated by Woody Harrelson. It's all about soil and how if we gotta protect our soil, and if we don't, then we're pretty much doomed when it comes to greenhouse gases. And it says the soil can actually heal all of the greenhouse gases and the planet without having to change basically like industrialism and all the pollutants we're doing. But soil can really capture so much carbon, but modern farming and GMO farming is killing the topsoil. So that prevents it from soaking in the carbon. But if we nurture the soil, it has an astounding ability to absorb so much carbon and sequester it. We'll be fine as a nation, but we have to stop destroying and tilling the ground and GMO farming kills the soil and turns what was rich dirt into uh, dry dirt that has no, no living uh, biomes and bacteria. Lala girl's in the house. She's loving that broth. Yeah, that's right. Lala, Milwaukee, this is for you. Milwaukee, A little wine, baby! Milwaukee Brewer, $5 super chat. I ran into one meat product that was exclusively grass-fed. I would think Ooh. that would also be fine. I, I assume so. Check it out, Art. Red wine's in. It deglazed the bottom of the pan. It's gonna get some of the sticky bits off there. I'll let that reduce almost all, and then I'll add the rayos. Yeah, it's really interesting. So what also happens is when you have fertile soil that eventually goes barren and dry, all of the carbon that it's sequestered and sucked into the ground gets released back into the environment when it becomes dry dirt. Soil to dirt is a bad thing, and you end up just totally messing up with the environment. So we have to stop traditional farming that destroys the ground and nurture regenerative mama. farming and mama. Ma and mama. Do we love mama? Do we love mommy? Mm -hmm. We love mommy, right? Shark Troyer's in the house. Mm -hmm. Can I have that cookie with me? And time? since today is Prime Day, Jim B has a question. Help, Bobby. Any recommendations Ooh. on food vacuum sealers? I like the food saver. I have the food saver. I think it's really good. I didn't use it for ages, but now I'm using it more and more. I recommend it. Why do you put the apple cider vinegar in the broth? Oh, because it helps um, draw out the uh, minerals from the bones. That's why. And actually, what you want to do, you want to roast the bones first, then put the bones in the water with the vinegar for about mm -hmm. like 20 minutes or so, mm -hmm. and it starts to soak out the minerals from the bones, and then you add the water. No, I'm sorry, then you add the uh, 
rest of the ingredients and pressure cook it. Yeah, this is tomato sauce, Rose. Rayos. Rayos is delicious. Why do we love Rayos? Small ingredient list, olive oil, and no filler, and whole peeled tomatoes. I always say this, when you see inferior marineras, they're gonna use crushed tomatoes or tomato puree. This is delicious, Rose. Absolutely Sherry delicious. DeWinter watching in Israel almost 1 a.m. So thanks for wow, joining thanks us. thanks for staying up. Shabbat Shalom, baby. It's not Friday yet. <laughs> it's Friday somewhere. Okay, Arch, check it no, out. <laughs> we put the rayos in there. Let that cook for just a minute. Then we'll add the bone broth and we're pretty much halfway home. All right, because this base right here, I mean, this could be like a ragu no, for, no, a, no. for a pasta or something. No, no. Oh, you're so heavy roasty. No, no. Ooh. I think mom's in the back working, working on uh, some sketches, babe. Mm. Actually, this is great. We're gonna have a collagen rich soup. I'm drinking the collagen water from Costco, a dollar 24 a bottle at Costco versus three 99 a bottle at uh, Whole Foods? Crazy. Hey, whoever said Woodman's has the unbuns? Do they have the unbun? Oh, D, do they have the untortillas too? If they have the untortillas, run. Don't walk because they're the most amazing tortillas I've ever had. Can Rose tell you that she wants water? Oh, yeah, she goes like this. This is the water sign. Water she does like this? More. Hungry. And then potty. She's pretty remarkable. Okay. I think we'll need about a quart or so of bone broth. So Having we'll a hard time finding Wagyu steaks at Costco in Chicago. Yeah, they're done. I think they're completely done. It was very limited. I'm guessing, and I told Art, they're going to bring it back for the uh, holidays. Um, it's a splurge item, but it's worth it. Tatiana says, my OCD is telling me to tell you to put the bone broth in the Rayo's jar. Just so much sauce. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Britt. Uh, Tatiana, I was thinking that. I wouldn't call that OCD. I'd call that being smart, being frugal. Yes. I was actually thinking the same thing. We don't want to waste that. $4. Woodman's has Siete tortillas. Good to know. I actually love the 365 uh, almond flour tortillas even more than Siete now, and they're cheaper. Which is grand. But Siete is nice. I give them so much love just organically on social media. They send me tortillas anytime I want. So I just emailed my contact. I'm like, can you send me six packs over? They're like, on the way. Score. Tatiana's heart is happy now. <laughs> I make your heart happy, Tati. Okay, check it out, Art. This is uh, 32 ounces or one quart of bone broth. Oh, in there. No, the app is not out yet. No, still working out. A lot of work on that. But we can't release that, you guys, until it's pretty much perfect and we're going to need some Flav City fans to help beta test it. But imagine all the work that goes behind having a database of any and all products in the store. So when you do this art, when you hold the camera to this barcode, it'll pop up Rayos on your screen. It'll say Bobby approved or not and why. And then give you a ton of suggestions about other sauces and then have categories broken down by every aisle of the store. So if you want to search and learn about condiments, bread, meat, snacks or dairy, all that information is there. It tells you what to look for, what to avoid, and uh, rattles off all of the Bobby approved items. Crazy. Rebecca, that is uh, Kara, who is Rose's nanny extraordinaire. So yes. that's referred to as Kara with a C. She's asking who, who is the girl with Rose? Yes. I think last week, Desi said babysitter. And I said, it's her nanny. Because to me, nanny is more of a like what professional real time. And someone's like full time. And they're like, that's the meaning. Why would you say that? I'm like, no, a babysitter is someone who comes over like once or twice a week when you go out to dinner. Like, she's a nanny. She's actually a nurse, but she's a nanny and she's great. Okay, we're going to bring that to a boil. And then... Nurse nanny. A n -n -n nanny. Yeah. What was that uh, show with Fran Drescher? The nanny? The nanny. The nanny. There you go. Ah. That voice. Oh. I couldn't see that voice. Okay. We got... You gotta see the baby. 1,200 people watching. We got... Bone broth infused Italian wedding soup starting to bubble away. We're going to add organic ground turkey meatballs to that. We got from Costco the ground turkey meat. We're going to add some real, oh, I got to bring this to a boil. Some really good organic red lentil pasta. Speaking of, let me grab my pasta pot out of here. <laughs> Richard Marcotte says, I babysat as a seventh grader. I was no Kara with a C. <laughs> there you go. See, that's my point exactly. 
Thank you for that. Uh, will the app be free or a monthly membership fee? Monthly membership. It's going to be four ninety nine a month. What about a yearly membership? Is that forty nine ninety nine a year? Mm -hmm. Good question. Already, already. Seven day free trial too. I mean, the amount of information on there, and uh, and the cost obviously for us, but I think it's a no brainer. This is your brain. This is your brain on Bobby approved app. I see you, Rusty. I see you. Hey. Dr. Jang says an au pair. Au pair? That's yeah. a fancy. That's a fancy version. Oh, au pair lives in, says Kara. I wish Kara lived here. Are you kidding me? If we had well, room. How many hours, what percent of the day are you here? You could round. Like, yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> basically we have here. Um, you know what I did when I made this two weeks ago on Instagram? I put a little bit of pasta in there, but I cut it with something that's really interesting. Has anyone ever seen this at Whole Foods? I bought it once and it had been sitting here for months. It's a whole dried spaghetti squash. And they call it pasta, but trust me, based upon what I had, you wouldn't want to have it at pasta. But if you throw some in the soup, all of a sudden, you get a low-carb, fiber-rich noodle in there that I think it's kind of cool to cut with some of the uh, the noodle. And this is why it's a Bobby Flav city of five version of Italian wedding soup, because instead of using pasta, which is dead food, it's white flour, no nutrients. I'm using legume protein fiber rich pasta. I'm using low carb fiber rich spaghetti squash noodles and you're fortifying your soup with the best ingredients you can basically buy and the bone broth and the protein uh, organic uh, ground turkey. That's how you take something that was decent before but not that healthy-ish and make it healthy. So the first answer to, or the answer to, to Maddie's first question is yes. Have you tried Vital Farms grass-fed butter? Is it a better option than Kerrygold? No, Maddie, because I think Kerrygold's better, and it doesn't even say that's 100% grass-fed on there, so I would not necessarily get that Vital Farms, and it's ridiculously expensive. Well said, Kelly. I need a home big enough for Kara <laughs> and Art. Now we're talking. Yes, the Applegate Chicken Sausage Organic is uh, Bobby approved, and it's quite tasty also. What's going on here? Yeah, there's a rose sticker. Someone show uh, Jessica the rose sticker. Do, do colon, rose, colon, colon, art, colon, colon, Bobby, colon, colon, Desi, colon. Then we have new ones coming. We have Kara one coming. We have a DJ D Slav, Uncle Farturo. We have hashtag keep on. We got everything, y'all. Uh, go to Jang is doing carnitas, still in the crock pot. Just sent you pictures. Ooh, we'll show that. And then uh, we got a super chat. June Nakata, $4.99. Oh, thank you, June. Tolerant chickpea pasta, Bobby approved. Yes, because it's organic. Um, I prefer to have organic legume pasta. Otherwise, they score high in glyphosate. Um, but Tolerant makes organic uh, chickpea. So here's the new thing. Anytime I say that non-organic wheat, oats, and legumes uh, score high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, the farmers... Yeah gang up at me on Twitter and go crazy. And they call me a fear monger and a fake news spreader. One went so far as to write a blog called like Flav City, you know, the ultimate fear monger. The thing is they, they think GMOs are good for you and they don't believe that conventional, you want some, oh, they don't believe that conventional wheat and stuff has high levels of glyphosate, but it does. All the studies show that EWG, cornucopia, but it's just funny they just go to town on me. What are we looking at? Oh, you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? Yes. See the baby uh, sign language she was doing? Oh, let's see if she wants water. Do you want some water too, Rose? Do you want water? Nick, Annette you want some water? from Wyandotte is in the house. See water. Sorry I'm late. I teach sixth grade catechism on Tuesday nights. Glad I made it tonight. Hey, we're glad you made it too. We don't, hey. have, any, we don't have any kale in today's episode, do we? Uh, there's no kale in that. Okay. We won't be using your hack. But there are cookies. I'm going to give this to you. Zakea wants to know Let's how Johnny P care. is doing. Oh, um, not bad. His knee's a little slow to heal. I made him an appointment at the orthopedic for Friday, last Friday, at 9.40 in the morning. And then I called him to remind him. He's like, I'm too tired. I don't feel like going. I'm like, Dad, do you know what it took to get this appointment? I had to call the doctor's office. They needed his Medicare and Medicaid number. I called him. He gave me the wrong number three times. Finally got it right. Then I had to schedule the x-ray before that. So I did that for him, all set up. It took forever. Then they call me, oh, we need a referral from his primary care doctor because of HMO. 
okay, got that. And then he cancels on me. I'm like, dude, come on. Okay, butter. Garlic butter. Oh, can I show you something? Art and I are gonna film a video this week about almond milk. It's gonna be an expose called, there's no almonds in your almond milk, but I wanna show you something that's so cool. Okay, look at these two products. I found them at Jewel Osco, actually. Look at this, Art. This is pistachio milk. This is banana milk. People have asked me about this for months, but I've never seen it at Whole Foods. They had it at Jewel. This is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-N-A. Look milk at this. Is bananas. <laughs> look at this. All it is is bananas, sunflower seeds, a little bit of cinnamon, and very few emulsifiers. I use this for cinnamon. my smoothie. Doesn't it's the cinnamon. last ingredient. I think I'm gonna give Rosie oh, some right now. Okay, never mind. Yeah. That, there's, that, there's like that, that looked like a, yeah. I assume that was the end of it, never mind. This is delicious. And this is pistachio milk. It's actually pistachios cut with organic almonds and Himalayan pink salt. Like amazing, amazing things. Now for my money, the best almond milk makers on the market are Three Trees, but even better than Three Trees is Art's favorite company name, Malk. Malk because neither of these use emulsifiers, but these guys sprout their almonds. What happens when you sprout almonds? Three things, you unlock uh, nutrition, you unlock enzymes, and you get rid of the anti-nutrient uh, lectins in the skin of the uh, almond. So I prefer this the best, but this is great too because there's no emulsifiers and it's delicious. Autumn Star says, wow, you can milk anything. <laughs> exactly, what does Art always say about like, like if it's an almond milk, you say what? Does, does an almond have a teat? Does an almond have a teat? Let's show Rose's reaction to this. This is her banana milk cut with some water. Rose, here's some banana milk for you. She crushes that like a boss lady. Hey, is it good? Is it tasty? Yeah. She's like, I, I, I gotta sit down. <laughs> it's so good, I gotta sit like, down. Like Papa. Right, Rusty? Right Stuff is good eats. Sitting on your cookie. You sat on your cookie? Oh my goodness. Why would you do that? Okie dokie. Okay, okay. right, check it out, Arthur. Am. Over there? Yeah, why not? So my soup came to a boil. I don't want it to boil hard, so I'm gonna reduce it to a simmer. Already, I mean, that's gonna be good, right, Art? You mm -hmm. can just tell. But 30 minutes with the lid on will just help infuse more flavor. I don't wanna reduce it because I'm not trying to build that kind of flavor. It already has the bone broth, which I don't wanna evaporate. I just wanna build sabor. I'm gonna set my timer here. All we have to do is boil our pasta, make our turkey meatballs, and make our garlic butter. So speaking of garlic butter, we will. Milwaukee Brewer says, does milk stand for something? If I remember it correctly from their website, it's milk alternative. So they figured milk. Yeah, I should ask them because um, they're nice. I tagged them on Instagram. So they sent me a bunch of free vouchers, which is nice because it's about five bucks uh, per. I should ask them uh, about that. But I will say that most, the reason why the expose is gonna be called there's no almonds in your almond milk is because most almond milks like this one have 2% almonds per volume. This kind of stuff here has like five almonds per cup. What is it then? It's all water and emulsifiers and usually cane sugar and natural flavors, which isn't bad when it comes to the emulsifiers part, except for the fact that excessive emulsifiers like guar gum and acacia gum and gelin gum can be bloating and a little irritating to your gut, but you're not drinking almond milk. You're drinking jellified water at that point. So you're better off making your own or buying the ones I talk about. Okay, so we'll put a big knob of KG butter in there. Oh yeah, look at that color, isn't that beautiful? This is the salted one because that's all they have at my Costco. But our, yours has the unsalted, right? Mirza, I did uh, show Bobby the olive fed Wagyu. Oh yes, we did, we saw that. Thank you for that. Does uh, your Costco still have the uh, unsalted KG? What? Uh, unsalted butter? I don't think so. No. Oh, don't show Rose. Yeah, let me get a little bit of garlic. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with oh. the garlic, too. I don't show. Okay. I don't show. Don't show. She's on the potty. Did you Rose call it KGB? What's that? Did you call it KGB? I called it KG. KGB. What? I didn't, say, I didn't say the B part. You should. Why? Oh, KGB. Carry gold butter. Yeah. <gasps> there we go. A, a pun shirt. Make it like the KGB oh with God. butter. Oh, that's interesting. 
I wonder if Kerry Gold, the company, would mind. Yeah, they might not like it. Well, you're associating us with the Russian mafia? The communist secret police? Yeah. yeah. So I like to actually grate the garlic like this. That way it really melts. So we'll do butter. Oh, is that noise around us? We'll do butter, garlic, salt, pepper, a little bit of oregano. Go to Chang says, still on the potty? Is she texting? <laughs> She's back and forth. She still has a cookie in her hand. So we all want to sit on the potty with cookies, to be honest. Mm. And a little bit of, <laughs> no, you know you do. What about people who go on the potty with their cell phone? It's like, come on, there's got to be a, a sacred space or a safe zone. We, we don't want that. That's just wrong. Breathing nerdum five. There he is. Sorry, guys. Tried several places and ways to send those chilies. They we were, were just sent, talking about that today. They were sent back every time. Oh I'm so my sorry, gosh. Bobby and the crew. Mad love. Art, tell Breathing Nerdum Ray why we were talking about him today with that. There was a uh, Hatch Chili Salsa with a clever name. I don't remember the name. Yeah. And I said, huh, that reminds me of Ray. He was supposed to send us some... Uh, hatch Chilies. Some Hatch Chilies, and they never came. We got to ask him what's going on, and you just, like, read our minds. So thank you for the try. It's kind of a bummer that it didn't work out. You already know. Uh, Annie P says, Bobby, I have very poor circulation in my legs. Any suggestions on something that I could add to my diet? Um, that I don't really know about. I'd have to research for you. I don't know about poor circulation. I, I know a lot about anti-inflammatory foods, and uh, that could be related. So I'd search Flav City anti-inflammatory on YouTube, and I have a great video about that and why you want to avoid inflammatory foods like processed oils like canola, refined sugar, gluten, and uh, processed foods like that for sure. Get that light back there. Okay, so KGB, salt, pepper, a uh, little bit of dried tim, and some red pepper flakes. We'll just slowly melt that over yonder. And uh, pasta water's boiling here. So what's going on? We're like over halfway through with Italian wedding soup, babafied, babafied with uh, bone broth, gelatin rich bone broth, immune system bo rich bone broth. We're using turkey, which I'll grab. We're using tons of veggies. We're using nutrient dense red lentil pasta, and we're about to make garlic bread using keto unbuns. These are absolutely fantastic. They're from Canada, Ontario. What up Canada? We love Canadian products. Can you give a one year old kettle and fire beef broth, beef bone broth? Can I get a, oh yes, absolutely. We started giving a uh, rose bone broth at six months old. Oh, sorry, wait. Yes, at 12 months you can do it. Before that, it's gotta be homemade because it has um, onions and, and uh, celery in there and you don't wanna give that to uh, kids under 12. After 12 months, yes, they can have that for sure. Rose has that every single day. So does mommy and daddy. And since it's a 48 hour flash sale, we gotta promote. Just for Flav City fans, they only do the sale a couple times a year. 30% off for 48 hours. That's it. Using code FLAVCITY. You got to check it out. You got to check out the uh, Amazon shop page, which you can pre-order my new cookbook. Uh, the, the keto wine we're using here, discounted shipping, and the immune system boosting tea pre-sale list. We only ordered 15,000 units of uh, tea. We have 16 to 17,000 people on the waiting list. This is it. This is the powdered version of my immune boosting tea on the blog. It's organic turmeric ginger, black pepper, monk fruit, uh, MCT oil, and uh, what's the other ingredient? And uh, da, 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 hot sauce. Uh, hot sauce, yeah. It's all oh, lemon and lemon powder and lemon peel. Anti-inflammatory, immune boosting. If you're not on the pre-sale list down below, it's probably gonna sell out and you'll have to wait another extra month until the second batch comes, but this is the real deal. No natural flavors, no food coloring, no fake sugar like sucralose or Splenda like uh, noon tablets do or like emergency does. Okay, I wanna salt the pasta water like the? Dead Sea. Like the Dead Sea, <laughs> exactly. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Some other sea will suffice. Yeah, some other sea is gonna suffice. S-E-A, not C. Yeah, it's like the Mediterranean Sea. Something like that. The Red Sea. Yeah, the Red Sea, not the dead. So I'll put in, not a ton of pasta, I think that's plenty. And then I'm gonna throw this in at the end. This is what, like algae or something? No, this is the whole spaghetti squash pasta, just dried. I don't love it as pasta, but to throw it in a soup, to add a little bit of fiber in there and thicken it up, it's gonna be lovely. Art, right, how did the emojis show up? You gotta do colon, Bobby, colon. You have to have what, colon? Your name, Colin? Yep. Okay. 
or colon rose colon uh -huh. colon art colon colon desi colon and eventually others. Yeah. Joseph Finley's in the there house. There he is. Hey, yo. Love today's menu. Toons is asking when you were going to make I super hearty stew I was waiting stew for super dinner. stew season and we're there. So I'm going to start making a lot more of these. I have a whole chapter in our new cookbook. Let me show you guys over here. Come over here. In our new cookbook. Hello, Maria. Five ingredients, semi-homemade meals. And I've only done minimal, minimal promo, you guys, about it. And if you go to my Amazon shop page here, which the link is down below, here it is right here. So... This is where all my kitchen gear is. The older cookbook is still a bestseller. The new cookbook is a bestseller and a number one new release in a hard, healthy cookbook. Are you sure about that? What's that? Oh, oh, oh. Colin Rose. Uh, colon Rose. Okay, so MS, it's colon Rose, colon, not Rosie. And then yeah. GG, it's colon, not semicolon. Yeah, so check it out. Pre order it. The price is going to be cheaper. I think it's going to be around 21 or 22 but you don't get charged until it actually ships on December 1st. So go there and check it out for sure. Uh, look at that cover Ooh, shot. That's here. weird, though. Janice did that. Uh, Does that be capital R? Uh, let me see. So let's do this. I'm going to go to the stream myself right here. Let's see. Marilyn got it to work. I see my little Yeah, energy. I think it should just pop up by itself. So I go colon, rose. See? It just pops up by itself right there. Oh, so I think people who weren't members must have been. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. You got to be, be a member to do that. Yeah, yeah you got to be a member. See, rose. And so if you're not a member and you want to That's be. A, there it is. Thank you. There's a join button right so this, there. Let's show what this is. So for some reason, you can't access it on most mobiles. You click join. Let's get rid of Ryan Reynolds on my screen. You click join right there. Boom. For $5 a month. You get a badge next to your name every time you leave a comment, and you get custom emojis to use like this. But in less than a week, we're going to add another 5 to 25 of these. DJ Dislav, Uncle Fartura, all that stuff. There is another one. Oh, someone said they joined the gold today? So gold gets you all that stuff in addition to access to a members-only live stream once a month and a 15-minute call with me every month to talk about your dietary goals or whatever. Or for 50 bucks a month, you get all the emojis and badges plus a members-only live stream every month. So it, I just wanted to put them out there. It's a great way to have fun with badges and support the channel, right? So that's that. Let's go back. Are you taking over for me, Roasty, while I'm gone? Huh? Are you taking over for Dad Orsh? Marty, or sorry, Manny says the bone broth is 15% off, not 30%. No, you got to use code FLAVECITY at checkout. It says 15% off when you get there, but code FLAVECITY at checkout gets you 30% off and free shipping, and it's only Manny for 48 hours. MS says, please use a garlic crusher. It's much easier to use, and you don't waste any garlic. Well, that might be true, but they're a little more of a pain in the butt to clean, and this does a pretty good job too, but yeah, maybe I'll get one of those. I haven't had one in a while. That's not a bad idea. Hey, sweetheart. Have you said hi to everyone while I was watching? Uh, oh, Elena watching. says, hi, Bobby. Since you mentioned hemp milk yesterday in your yes. stories, can yes. you make a video showing how to make it at home? Um, yeah. I actually want to start making it for Roasty. So hemp milk is the closest in nutritional profile to cow's milk. But I wouldn't buy it at the store because they almost always have emulsifiers, which I would never give to kids, and natural flavor. Buy the big bag of hemp milk from um, Costco, and then soak it in water. You don't even have to, but soak it in water. Put it in a blender with filtered water, a little bit of coconut cream, touch of salt, and a little bit of maple syrup. It's the most omega-3 protein, iron-rich milk you can give a little kid. I'll make it with y'all coming up on a live stream. How about that? We'll do milk and cookies, Flav City style. Art can make the cookies. I'll make the milk for a roasty. It'll be delicious. Right, Rosie? Or we can make Desi's paleo shortbread cookies that we made the other day. Mocha, yesterday. Mocha Mocha says you look like Benedict Cumberbatch. I have heard that. Back in the day, it used to be like you look like Kevin Bacon. Then it turned into Benedict Cumberbatch. Let's see what's going on here. Lovely. Oh, we got to form our turkey meatballs. Turkey meatball. I mean, this is the kind of food you want to eat whether weather gets cold, but we're making it nutrient dense using best in class ingredients. And that's why we wrote the new cookbook, right? Ooh, hot in here. Hot. Hot sauce. There's Jill Shopsky, my girl. What else is going on here? If you haven't First, done so yet, please leave comments down below. We'd love to see where you're watching from. Uh, share the stream. We got 1,200 lovely people watching and all that good jazz. Speaking of politics, Art and I will be live on November 3rd, election night, doing bipartisan recipes live. 
I'm not sure we're going to last as long as the uh, uh, election results, but it'll be good. But yeah, no politics in the co comments, please. Okay. Look what I got today with Art. Milk and cookies live stream with Bobby and Art, says Kelly Weinstein. Sounds amazing. We should be in pajamas for that. So we were at Costco today. After we filmed at Target, which took forever. I talked about that earlier. We got the best crown bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. If you didn't hear me talk about it earlier, do yourself a favor. Get a bottle of this. It's organic. New York. What up? Uh, Hudson Valley. Maple syrup aged in real bourbon barrels. The flavor is phenomenal. But we got this. This is the best ground turkey they have at Costco. It's our favorite Plainville. Here's how much I love the turkey at Costco. I always have this in my fridge. This is the most boring name, but most high quality turkey ever. It's Plainville Organic Turkey Breast. It honestly is $8 a pound. Go to get Applegate Organic at any grocery store, it's $16 a pound. So it's half price. And then this is about $5 a pound for organic ground turkey. And we're gonna make meatballs out of that. But Plainville wins the award for most boring name, <laughs> Most high quality product. Kelly Weinstein, I always wonder if I'm pronouncing your last name correctly. Is it A or B? Weinstein or Weinstein? I'll bet it's know. Weinstein. I've, Kelly, been, I've been saying A, Weinstein, but I just want to make sure I'm saying it right. And Kelly, you're a fellow Jew too, correct? We got to make some uh, potato pancakes for, uh, for Hanukkah coming up. I'm kind of feeling the holiday buzz. I just hope like Christmas doesn't get canceled in certain places because like... They keep these states closed or like... Well, Christmas won't be canceled. <laughs> well, the, well, the Christmas season, you know what I mean? I just hope it doesn't get canceled because of coronavirus. That would stink. Mm-hmm. The Let's general see. rule is to pronounce the second vowel. Well, Suzette says, Bobby, can you make low-carb gnocchi with pesto sauce washing from a Santa Clarita? Laird Superfood is out with the chai today. Pronounced, pronounced wine... I, Go ahead. It's spelled the same way. Oh, um... <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm doing a video promoting it tomorrow. This is InstaFuel Chai. I've been drinking it every day during the week. This is their chai tea latte with next level ingredients and flavor. It's the most clean, delicious chai tea latte. I'll have a link in tomorrow's Walmart video and on Instagram stories with 15% off. If you want a chai tea latte that is actually good and good for you, grab this. Uh, she says Weinstein. Steen. E. That's what I, I said. I, yeah, yes. I knew it. Annie P's got to go. See you, Annie P. Annie, good to have you on here. Great to see you as always, Annie. Uh, what was I talking about? OMG, you should make Friday fish fry with potato pancakes and with keto paleo ingredients. That sounds like a lot of work. I'm trying, make, I'm trying to make these streams easier and easier because you have to keep in mind that Art and I work. Art comes over three days a week and we're busting our butts the whole time. And sometimes we have to totally shift gears and set up these live streams. And I'm just exhausted because we're in the middle of doing something really important. Then we got to shift straight to live stream, which I love. But um, there's a lot of work to set up and do. And a lot of uh, energy gets expended doing them, but I love them. Um, but it's like switching gears like that is really hard. And sometimes I'm so tired afterwards, I just want to pass Jackie out. Jackie Adam Spiegel wants Hanukkah potato latkes. Yeah, I know you do, Jack. I'll do it. You don't worry about that. I was talking about something that was interesting. I don't remember. Oh, Kelly Weinstein's Christian. Her late husband was Jewish. Love both religions. Uh, so she's not Jewish herself, but she was... Oh, funny, her, but you have her, the most Jewish name. That's hilarious. Late, late husband was Jewish. Okay, good to know. Okay, so we have a pound and a half of ground turkey. Now, you know Suzanne's what's interesting? Suzanne's a critic. Look at the this time art. limit on the live stream is 45 minutes or less. <laughs> or less. <laughs> that would make Destiny well, very happy. This is ground turkey thigh, but they never say it's thigh. If it doesn't say ground turkey breast, and if it says anything lower than 93 or 90, this is ground turkey thigh. You don't want to use turkey breast because it's just too darn lean, okay? Now, we'll put the turkey meat in there. I'll make a bunch of this. Actually, I don't know if she was being critical or if she was just trying to say, yeah, just keep a time limit. That, that way uh, it, it won't be as exhausting. I, I, well, Maybe I don't want a critical. Limit. I don't know. The thing about the time <laughs> limit is that I don't like to be, I don't want to be restricted. You can't tell me what to do. It's just like I want to... Uh, it's like having million dollar pipes and nowhere to play them. Exactly. I want to talk and goof along. Maybe we can also start to diversify. Instead of cooking, maybe we can do just like a Q&A session. We can do coffee talk with Bobby. We can do eating a meal together. Not always cook. What do you guys think? You coffee should be like, talk? You should be like, am I right? I'm like, you bet you. Exactly. <laughs> You're right, Bobby. It's just really about spending the time with the community, which is most important. I like to think these are very unique, the kind of live streams we do, but they're a lot of work. Is there rosemary extract in that ground turkey? Oh, this one, there should, I think there is as a preservative. Let's see. 
Yeah, rosemary extract. Rosemary but rosemary time. Is there's no natural flavors like the one at uh, the one at uh, Trader Joe's that I used man. to buy. David, let's leave the politics out of here. All right, a little bit of salt. Yeah, no politics, please. A little bit of salt and pepper. Now, I think just for shites and giggles, I'll put a little bit of almond flour in there too, just to lighten up the meatballs. Normally, you'd also add eggs, but the ground turkey meat is so almost like wet. wet that you don't need it. Exactly, Art. So I'll put a little bit of almond flour that I'm not even going to soak in almond milk because I don't think you need to. I'm just going to let it hydrate in the almond, in the uh, turkey meat. Mocha Mocha really likes to uh, make reference to the fact that you uh, look like Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You haven't seen that guy in a while, Coffee right? Talk was a popular uh, That's right, concept. Linda Richmond. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. big whoop. No time limit, says Kristen. We'll have coffee talk. So I only drink coffee on the weekend, but I normally have two cups of, of tea every day. I'll have green tea in the morning. Hi, Roasty. I'll have loose leaf green tea in the morning, and then I'll have another like black tea in the afternoon. But now I'm having the Insta Fuel Chai. Look at the ingredients in this art. Read these ingredients. It's next level. I was a little concerned when I saw that the instant black tea wasn't uh, organic, but I reached out to my friends at Laird and they told me that it's 100% uh, certified and checked for any kind of pesticides and chemicals, but the ingredients are next level and it's so aggressively spiced with the um, chai tea spices that it is a great balance of a little heat, sweet, and uh, creaminess from the coconut milk. When I have my link tomorrow in a really cool video about what to buy at Walmart Supercenter now. What's up? Did you have more of a snack? More snack? Mm, yeah, why don't we give you some yogurt? Because last night you had too many cookies and that kind of ruined your day. Coffee right? Pot has a good suggestion. Yes. How about some coffee talk followed by a sprockets dance? <laughs> I, I'd this be is up. the part of Sprock is very dance. I'd be up for that. Art and I have a Walmart Super Center haul going live tomorrow. And we filmed it at the uh, Walmart in um, Skokie. They had the most awesome new stuff that I've never seen. You're going to love the video. And I give you the link for the layered uh, chai latte in that. Oh my God. Any thoughts on Oatly? Um, the only Oatly I would get is the... Um, a low fat one, because it doesn't have any rapeseed oil. The high fat one has rapeseed oil. And even though it's not organic oats, they are independently certified to be glyphosate free. But it still has um, emulsifiers, so I'd actually go for the Malk oat milk. Can't Great. believe I bought the low fat. <laughs> Malk makes a delicious um, almond milk, but also a, uh, an oat milk. And if you live in Texas, we don't have it here. They have a cashew milk that looks amazing. You don't want that? Wow. Well, if you're not going to eat, I'm going to put it back. I don't want to waste it. This stuff's expensive. Uh -oh. Has anyone tried the new lava milk yet? That peely nut milk is delicious. How about Bobby and Art's World? Party time. Excellent. Here you go, Rusty. Can you cover that up? I like that idea. I don't want to waste that, Rusty. No? I get to be Garth. Thank you, Rose. Perfect. I can't keep giving you cooks. Can't give you a cup. I can give you a couple blueberries, Rose, but I don't think you're going to eat them. Let's see. Hey, when the mini oven is on warm, what temperature is it at? 150 Fahrenheit. Good question. Great, grand, wonderful question. Here, Rosie. How about a little blueberries? Hmm? I disagree with you, Gochi Chang. He says, lava milk sounds much more appetizing than milk. Nothing can be better than milk. I don't even drink milk, but I still call it milk. I love milk. And because Scammer it has Payback's no... in the house. Who is? Scammer Payback. Scammer's in the house. What's going Sc on, man? Good to see you, Christian. Check out Scammer's You're channel. Right? He does live stream six times a week. I don't know how he does it. But he has the best channel. It's growing so fast. And he calls back scammers and scams them. Takes over their computer. Yeah, give you yogurt. Him and his wife are awesome. They're doing great stuff crushing life. So, Scammer, we're making a little Italian meatball soup right now. Um, we're using ground turkey meatballs for pasta instead of starchy pasta. We're using uh, red lentil pasta and we're cooking it in bone broth right now. We got that 30% off promo code down below. Um, so that's it for the meatballs. And what I'm going to do is just flick them directly in the soup at the end over very low heat and let the residual heat of the, uh, of the soup cook them through. Rachel Sedgwick's in the house. Long time no see. Oh, Sedg. Good to have you back. Sedgy. 
Did you move uh, Rachi uh, to another place in Arizona? We haven't seen you. You said you're off uh, off of Instagram, right? Because of the stalker creepers. Okay, yeah, if you're just joining, please leave comments down below. If you want to see where in the world you are watching from today. Hey! And uh, Rostine's here. Say hi to everyone who's new, Rose. Hello, everyone! Kara with a C is here. Hi, guys. Desi's in back working hard. Um, what else is going on? Uh, lots of stuff we've already talked about, and we're just crushing life here, right? Art and I, so Art and I told you earlier, we were at Target today for two hours. We should have been there for 45 minutes. But I've never seen a concentration of Waldos, aka employees, like today. They were everywhere. We couldn't get away from them. Bless you. And they were eyeing us. They really took forever. And then my back started hurting, made it hard to cavell. And we finished the video and we went straight to Costco to get the meat and the maple syrup. We picked up Chipotle. We came home. And that was that. What happened at Chipotle Art today? Go, go selfie style. Say hi to everyone. Tell them what VIP experience we got oh, excuse me, at Chipotle today. It doesn't get any better than this. We always ask for some smoked uh, Tabasco sauce because in the era of COVID, if you want it, you got to ask for it. They were about to give us some and said, you know what? Here's a brand new bottle. Take the whole thing. So we got a fresh bottle of smoked she, Chipotle Tabasco. I joke. So we don't have to ask anymore. If we're taking it to go, we bottle got Bottle service. We got bottle service here. Look at that. Yeah. She's, she goes, these VIP. guys are here all the time, which we're there maybe once a week. Back in the day when we were out at grocery stores three days a week, we'd go to there all the time because for my money, Chipotle is the cleanest fast food there is. And I guess the chick recognized us. The girl recognized us, I should say. And uh, it was very sweet of her. So and like I had a free entree reward on my app, which was like made my day. Sedgwick says, LOL, back on private. I only have an Instagram to follow you. I can't wait for the new cookbook. I tell everyone about you guys. Oh, nice. You're back. Good. Send us a DM so we know, so we know when they're coming from you. Yes, Keto Knuckle Huts. That's Kara with a C. She's the nanny slash, uh, oh, not au pair, because <laughs> we determined that, that means you live here. She's not babysitter. Super, babysitter super nanny. Not babysitter. Her. Super nanny. Yeah. Jill She's, Chopsky is now a Silver Flave City member. Jill Chopsky signing up for the... Silver membership with gets you a private live stream every single month. Thank up, you, Christy Jill. Young? Yeah, once again, if you want to join the Flav City channel for as little as $5 a month, there's a join button below the video. It won't show up on mobile versions. Just go to a desktop and you'll see it there. You sign up. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you, Negan. Negan, Negan knew that part right. Oh, I, I don't watch it anymore, but I heard that... Uh, I heard that Fear and The Walking Dead came back at the same time. Is that true? I don't know. I haven't seen it in forever. Is it any good anymore, you guys? Anyone who watches The Walking Dead, is that show as good? I haven't watched it in a couple of years now. So I have no idea what's going on. Considering but. I didn't start watching it until like four or five seasons in, it wouldn't be that much of a feat for me to get caught up on a couple seasons that I haven't seen. Look at this garlic butter. You golden butter of the gods. Oh, thank you, Cooking I've with Me. Just done like five seasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Art, did you say beklemt? Your Yiddish with our Gentile friends would be fun. Art has really good Yiddish. He's a really good. I say there's like a there's a good I, I good Jew down deep in look, him. Look, I would say beklemt, but you know I got a, I got some spilkas in my connectors. Exactly. Like, so I, I'm not feeling myself. Mikey today. says Walking Dead is awful now. And Blake says, I thought you didn't watch zombie shows. Exactly. We stopped watching it years ago because we didn't want to watch zombie shows. Let's see. Never watched that show. Jackie Haddam Spiegel, $49.99. Cheers to Bobby and his excellent cooking and excellent info. Oh, All wow. things healthy, mad love. Thank you, Jackie. Wow, Jackie, thank you so much. You're the best, Jackie, from Strong Island. Your immune-boosting uh, tea, should I drink it hot or cold? Which do you suggest? You can do either or hot or cold, but I recommend doing it hot. So there's a liquid version, which is on my blog, search Flav City Immune Tea. And this is the powdered version with organic, real ingredients, no filler, no fake sugar. This is the one that's coming next month on shopflavcity.com. And you can sign up down below in the description box uh, for the pre-sale list for that. Um, so yeah, I prefer it hot. Uh, hot. Viviana and, stopped watching TV in 1998. To be honest, Viviana, I think you are on to something. Most of the stuff on TV is garbage. If I want to watch something, I want to learn, which is why I try to watch only documentaries and I want to laugh. We were watching last night um, stand-up comedy from Nikki Glaser. It's a little dirty, but she's very funny. 
Um, I started watching, so two documentaries you gotta watch this week. Number one is Kiss the Ground on Netflix. Number two is My Octopus Teacher. My Octopus Teacher was actually recommended to me by my friend, my contact, who works at Kettle and Fire. It's about a South African guy who dives every day and forms this amazing relationship with an octopus. For about a year, it's crazy. Kiss the Ground is about how the soil around the planet is so important at actually letting us sustain our life and cleaning the air. And if we destroy the soil and continue with modern farming of tilling and GMOs, we're gonna kill the soil and turn it into dirt and we're in for serious problems. Now listen, I'm not a big climate change kind of guy, but I do believe the soil is the most important resource on the earth. And if we don't foster that, if we continue to kill topsoil, we're screwed. I mean, that's just the way it is. Jackie's complimenting me on my Yiddish. So, See, Jackie, you. art's pretty darn good, right? Okay, so come back here, Arthur T. Let's Thank take you. the pot. It's been about 28 minutes for the soup. Let's unveil together. Un, do, tre. So that looks good. It's gently boiling away. But look at the color. It kind of smells like a minestrone, right, Art? Sure. Sure, yeah. Arthur, <laughs> sure. Let's I check it so. for seasoning. Because this is the time when I want to start poaching the meatballs in there. And I'm going to add those spaghetti squash pasta. Let's just check it. Hey, Rostini. At first, Hello, I wasn't sweet. sure, but then I'm like, yeah, I think I smell minestrone. I don't smell minestrone often. I never made a minestrone. It never was big on my list. Yeah, I used to love it. We used to go to an Italian restaurant called Little Italy in uh, Highwood growing up, and they made the most amazing minestrone. Where was that? Um, in Highwood? Yeah, like right downtown Highwood, right by the tracks. Okay. I don't know that one. The flavor of the bone broth with the reos and the veggie tables is lights out. That's it. That's how you take a few ingredients, like store-bought semi-homemade, and make them really good. Now, let me see if my pasta is done. I like to really cook the red lentil pasta very aggressively. I don't want it to be al dente at all for this. That's delicious. I'm telling you, when you make soups and stews and chilies, if you think your recipes are good, they're going to be a hundred times better if you do them with bone broth because it adds a umptiousness that is next level. My pasta is done. Rose, one taste. Let me give you a little pasta. One sec. Roasty, here. Taste this noodle. This, this is the noodle. Here, Rose. Let's let it dry out for a minute. Your daddy's going to drain the pasta. One of the few uh, times. Viviana wants to know if Lights Out is the new gangbusters. <laughs> Um, I feel like it might be, but I think lights out refers to like someone getting knocked out in a fight, so I don't like that or worse. connotation. Or what? Or, or worse. worse. Yeah, so I probably shouldn't use that, to be honest. Okay, let's come back here. Here, Rose, try a little pasty. There, that's pasta for you, sweetie. Knocked out permanently. <laughs> well, I think it's more like, like a knockout in a fight, isn't it? Or is it permanent, like death? It depends on the context. It's a death blow? I missed the death blow! Okay, so get your hands a little wet and form little mini meatballs. The smaller, the better, because you want to eat them with one bite. And shout out to Desi's mom. She always taught me to wet my hands when making meatballs in kefta. Because one day she was watching me and she was like, Bobby, the mixture's sticking to your hands. Maggie B in the house. And this was a big game changer. Maggie B, a great moderator. Out up. So we're just gonna poach these over very gentle heat because I don't want to overcook my ball of meat. And then we're gonna toast our meatballs, or toast our meatballs, our uh, garlic bread, our keto garlic bread. Hey, Rosie, how are you? Kara, can you grab one of the ceramic pans below you, uh, like the medium-sized one, please? Medium? Yeah, the medium-sized one. Jason E, hey, first live stream with you guys, welcome. Jason, welcome, my friend. G glad you joined. We do about three live streams every week. Zakaya with a hashtag ask art and a hashtag ask Bobby. Do you all skateboard? I have not skateboarded since. Oh, uh, thank you. You can put it uh, on a cutting board. Probably 1989. Yeah, same with me. I made my mom buy me like this $300 Tony Hawk skateboard back in the day. Such, such an idiot. Like tricked it out. That was the worst skateboard. I barely did it. Joseph Finley saying no chocolate sweaty balls. <laughs> I can dip these in chocolate. And then I got, I was really into uh I was really into, uh, I'll give you, some, yeah, you can grab another piece of a pasta. I was really into tennis and Andre Agassi, and I made my mom buy me all the Agassi gear. You know, those like jean shorts with the uh, 
neon pink spandex underneath it. I had the, the Agassi Nike shoes. Yeah, the shoes too. They were so expensive. I felt so bad, but like when you're young, it's amazing how you, you need something so bad or you're gonna die. And like I wanted the Jordans so bad. I got these Jordans and they were so clean. I wore them to summer school one day and this bully stepped on my shoe like that. And I was so mad. But like I remember back in the day, you need that stuff so bad. I'm sure Rose will be like that. And then ultimately it's the stupidest thing. You don't need that. I think but, I never had the Jordans. I think I had the Pippins and then I had the David Robinsons. And I think the David Robinsons had a pump on them. Like you had the David Nike, Robinsons over Jordans? The Nike pump. Wow. Well, I, yeah, Nike pump. Wow. We got well, a super chat here. Nisa, Nissa, four ninety nine. Hi, Bobby. Was wondering, is it okay to cook with avocado oil if you have kidney disease? Hope you are enjoying Muala milk. Try unsweetened or original. Well, yeah, I have the uh, unsweetened banana one. I refuse to get the one with the uh, sugar. I'll show it again. Um, yeah, avocado oil for kidney disease, absolutely. Anti-inflammatory, uh, heart healthy uh, avocado oil. Yeah, get the chosen food or the Marianne one from. Uh, Costco because you want to make sure it's pure, unadulterated. That's an interesting question though. So Nissa, though, is there some, what are some products that you need to avoid if you have kidney disease, if you know about them? I'm just wondering, that's a pithy question. Yeah, I mean, I don't I'm wondering think, about the avocado oil, why? That yeah, I don't think concerned. avocado oil is gonna be, unless you enlighten me about something I don't know, uh, but I don't think avocados affect kidneys like that. I don't know if the oil But if you have concern about the fruit. They have avocados. Yeah, okay. Or pineapples or like protein. Okay, yeah, but I'd say you're, you're getting pure fat from avocado, so you'll be yeah, fine. So yeah, good call. See, care of the nurse. Come Joseph through. Finley, four ninety nine. Art, has anyone mentioned who you resemble? <laughs> uh, only every stream. Today's been more about me and Benedict Cumberbatch, though. I saw somebody mention Willem Dafoe earlier. Ah, he hasn't done much these days, does he? I haven't seen him lately. He's, he's pretty good, though. He doesn't need the cash. Uh, Nissa says, I know with avocado, so yeah, I might want to consult your doctor yeah, on that. Yeah, double check, but I'm guessing with the oil, you're fine. I mean, if you don't use that, then your other best bet would be extra virgin olive oil, the one of the Bobby approved ones, and uh, virgin coconut oil. Do not go for processed plant-based oils like canola and soy and sunflower. Okay, um, we're putting the final touches on Italian wedding soup. I tried the flavor, it was great. Uh, once again, the combination of the bone broth, the vegetables, and the wine is so darn lovely. I said earlier, I gotta say it again, the bone broth, that Kettle and Fire bone broth, 30% off flash, fail, uh, flash sale on Kettle and Fire using Flav City promo code right below the video. There's a link, click it. It's only gonna be live for 48 hours. You get 30% off and free shipping for the best quality bone broth on the market. If you're not gonna make your own, something I wanna start doing more of now that it's getting cold, check out Austin's Finest. Kettle and Fire Bone Broth is the best on the market with 100% grass-fed and grass-finished bones. Did you know it's 44 days until Thanksgiving, 73 days until Christmas, and 58 days until Hanukkah? Good to know. Bobby, what do you suggest for low magnesium levels? <sighs> well, magnesium-rich foods uh, are really like really good nuts, like almonds and uh, walnuts have great amount of magnesium. And if you don't have enough magnesium in your body, it's actually hard to sleep. Magnesium helps keep you asleep. So eat a big handful of uh, sprouted or blanched almonds without the skins on them because they have anti-nutrients and walnuts. Very, very good. Kara Coffee Pot wants to know where is the best place to take your temperature? Uh, typically orally. Why? That was just the for, question. For kids, um, I'm gonna put this. In. Usually they'll do like rectally, but under the armpit is it super accurate? Like forehead is it super accurate? I what about ear? Um, I wouldn't say that tympanic is like as accurate as you could be, but for oral you need to make sure that you don't have like any water or drink anything or eat anything. I would say 30 minutes prior to taking it to get like the most accurate. All right, there you go. See? Thank you. We have a resident nurse on staff in Flav City what? Kitchens. How many people can say that? So just to put a couple of these um, dried spaghetti squash, check it out, or, or I'll show that. It's the dried spaghetti squash. It's really cool stuff. What is so the I'm going to toast some keto bread now. What is the flavor of the tea? Can you describe it? Of my tea? It says the tea. The tea? Uh, the tea is um, a little tart and acidic from the lemon. A little bit of heat from the cayenne and a little bit of sweet from the uh, 
monk fruit. It's the same flavor profile of the drink itself you would get on flavcity.com. Okay. Let me put this turkey away here. Yeah, we worked hard on that and we didn't want to put any filler ingredients. So if you look at most like emergencies or some kind of like immune boosting tea or tablets on the market, they all have either fake sugar or sugar. And by fake sugar, I mean like sucralose or Splenda. Natural flavors, artificial flavors or food coloring. We didn't do any of that. And it took some time to find a, a purveyor that can do that for us and make it taste really good, but we got it and it's dynamite. For those who signed up to pre-order on the immune tea, is there a limit that we can order? Um, I think we're doing limit two in the beginning, but eventually what does that, that do? Two, two what? Like two, uh, two bags. Okay. And, and how, two how much, how many, how much tea can you make with two bags? Uh, two bags, you can make 60 servings. Okay. So you'll be good for a couple months. Each bag is 30 day supply for $29.99. Um, and then eventually we'll have subscriptions okay. and Thank stuff you, like Jackie. that. Thank you, Jackie. We just gotta get all the kinks out and make sure we do it right. Um, Cause you only got one chance. Do not let your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a light. <laughs> Cheers y'all. Cheers everybody. <laughs> oh, um, so keto garlic bread. How do you do that? You get something like an unbun right here. So there's really only two keto breads on the market that do it right. Unbun is one. And these guys from Base Culture are the other ones. So Base Culture makes all kinds of keto bread. My favorite is either the cheese bread. This is the keto cheese bread made with uh, nutritional yeast. And what Desi Rose and I absolutely go gaga for, and I think you could only get this at Whole Foods, is their keto cinnamon raisin bread. That bread is literally heavenly. Toast it, put some Kerrygold butter on there, Great. Now for dinner Why rolls, not Jace cooking with me. Un, Unbun makes these amazing almond flour buns here that are scrumptious. And I want to griddle them and then slather them with copious amounts of KGB. Kerrygold butter with garlic. <laughs> KGBG. Eventually. Right, Art? KGBG. Kerrygold butter garlic. Oh. Yeah. Come on, let's not or confuse how about people. Kerrygold garlic butter. How about KGB and some KGG, garlic? KGGB, right? Jeepers creepers. <laughs> uh, this weekend, Desi and I and Rose went out for a rare night for dinner to an amazing place in the West Loop called Cruz Blanca. It's like an upscale taqueria, but everything is locally sourced there and all the chicken and pork and beef is pasture raised and grass fed. It's one of the only places you can go in Chicago that as absolutely use, uses um, pasture raised and grass fed protein. And we had carnitas, and they came from Gunthorpe Farms, which is one of the better pasture-raised places. So it's so nice to go to a place where you know exactly where everything comes from. Otherwise, we won't really go out because I don't want to be eating that kind of food and putting it in my body. Julio says, KGB, that sounds like a job for McGruber. <laughs> exactly, bro. Scammer, I am doing well, man. Good to see you on here. Art's crushing life, Scammer. Crushing it. Where to find the bread? Um, so I would check out their store locator. The buns are at Whole Foods. Uh, base culture is at Whole Foods. But what I really go gaga for and Desi loves is their tortillas. And I'm not sure who has them. Uh, maybe Woodbins does. Go to their store locator. Mm -hmm. They should give you a show on HGTV. Hey, H I, I prefer a Netflix or an Amazon. That way you don't have to worry about sponsors. And I talk so bad about so many brands that sponsor like Food Network. I'll probably never have a show on Food Network because I would be pissing on their sponsors and stuff like that. So Art, what if we toast the butter or toast the bread in a little bit of ghee and then finish it with the garlic butter? Why not? Why not? Right? Why, not? Why the heck not, says Arthur Tiamasi. So just a little bit of ghee goes in the pan. And then here's what I like to do. Whenever I toast bread like this or make like a gluten-free mac and cheese, I like to add flavor to the bread. You know how I do that? I season the pan. Season the pan up. I go Gordon Ramsay. Anyone watch his Ultimate Burger video, you know what I mean. Gocha Jang says the pork slash carnitas pick he sent you is rated five plus at Whole Foods from the Thompson Farms. Oh, but is it pasture raised, Gocha Jang? Let's go check his email in a second. So why do I salt and pepper the pan? Because when I put 
the buns in like this, the seasoning sear in to the crust. So that's why to me it's a must. The crust is a must. Oh, I got too small of a pan here. Denied. Huh. I'll do, you know, I'll do it on the second batch. We'll Jokes in the open. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on with our meatballs yes here. Renee Denham's going to Whole Food and TJ tomorrow. Oh, nice. So at TJ, Renee, they have new um, no sugar added chocolate chips. They also have vanilla bean paste. Do me a favor, Renee. Take a picture of the ingredients of the vanilla bean paste and email it to me. I want to see if it has a little bit of sugar in there, like most do, but vanilla bean paste is amazing for baking or just swirling into yogurt. And they also have now, um, take a picture if you have it. Uh, no, I've seen the picture. Get it. They have cocoa beans covered in chocolate. It looks unbelievable. There's a little bit of cane sugar, but it looks unbelievable. Speaking of, check this out, Art. This looks unbelievable. This is done. You're unbelievable. Oh, look at this. So this is our soup. Look how thick and beautiful it is. The meatballs are done. We put some of that spaghetti squash pasta in there. So you get that extra fiber. And then we put the real pasta in there. Wow, it's thick and beautiful. Okay, it is thick and beautiful. Look at this. Who doesn't want to eat this pot of nutrient-dense, Flav City-style Italian wedding soup with organic ground turkey meatballs, red lentil pasta, a ton of vegetables, and bone broth. That's how we roll. You just got some love from Vancouver, BC. Really? Canada, 50 Canadian dollars from Lisa Lou. Lisa, thank you so much. I'll be, I gotta go check uh, Goju Jang. Come over here, Art. We gotta check Bradley Goju Jang's email. He's making carnitas, he says. Carnitas sets. check, lead the way, Rose. Where's Goju Jang? Go over to Daddy. Where's Daddy? Show us. There we go. You went to the uh, junk mail, Goju Jang. Look at this, Art. Oh. Wow, look at the amount Excuse of fat. Excuse me, Rose. Woo, look at this, Goju Jang. Look at the amount of fat in that crock pot. Dang. I don't wanna show his email address. There we go. You can't see it anyway. Okay. Look at that. Woohoo! Wow, nice goju jang. That looks beauty. Gonna shred that. Very, very exciting. Thank you for sharing. Julio, $2. Our goat milk, kefir, and pine nuts good for health. Yes, yes, and yes. Kefir has to be unsweetened, um, ideally grass fed. And pine nuts are good as long as they're not from China, which a lot are because it can give you pine nut syndrome in your mouth. And uh, yes, goat milk is great. Thank you for the super chat. That's organic hard apple cider in there. Dang, go your drink. Nice, Holmes. That sounds good. I'm going to warm my garlic butter back up. Hey. What's up? Mr. Mota, you have a great first name, Arturo Mota. Oh, nice. Good to have you out here. Okay, let's plate up a bowl of this soup here, y'all. Uh, Jackie Hatton Spiegel says, Bobby, you have a great French accent when you're making your French bechamel sauce for your recipe for lasagna that you did a while ago. <laughs> ah, mon ami, mon ami Jackie. Oui, 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 uh, je m'appelle Robert. I make the bechamel sauce. You stupid Americans don't know how to cook, but I'll show you how to do it. In Chef Robert's kitchen. Okay. Goju Jang says, you sound just like Julia Child. <laughs> Julia Child. But first we have to take the bechamel. She wasn't even French then. No, she was not. Okay. But she so was she, the French chef. Check it out. So here's our soup. I mean, this gets better the next day and the next day. But let's take a little bit of broth, a little bit of pasta noodles, a few of the meatballs. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I could see Bobby's family with a Great Dane in the future. Whoa, a Great Dane? I don't know about that. I grew up with a Bichon Frise that I loved so much. It was such a great dog, and we treated the dog so well. His name was Josh. Where's the Parmigiano Reggiano? That's exactly where I'm going, bro. He lived to 19 years old. I'm going for how, how many months age do you think this cheese is, Arthur? Hey, Rose. Since you know I'm over here, probably went with the 36 month stuff. And I'm gonna go for that. Prime maple syrup, <laughs> extra virgin olive oil, which uh, I heard a lot of you guys bought it last week. Please let me know how it is once it comes. Come back up here, Rose. You're going to try it with Daddy. Come on, Rose and Kara. Ready? Yes, and then we're just going to get a little piece of garlic bread. How yep. do I change to have a picture when I make a comment? Is it as involved as I think? Uh, no, just go into your uh, 
your YouTube profile and there's a section to change your avatar to whatever picture you want. All right, a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. Get the real stuff, not the pre-graded stuff. Costco has the best price ever. So a little bit of Parmigiano, right? Then we take the extra virgin olive oil, garnish on top. So why finish with olive oil? Because it's such a raw, fresh flavor, it transforms the dish. And my friends, that is the dish that's quick, easy, healthy, nutrient dense. Italian wedding soup. How good does that look, Karen? It looks delicious. I mean, delicious. Now, Rose, I'm going to give you a meatball so you can start noshing on that, young lady. Reminds, every time you say meatball, it reminds me of a Blackhawks commercial with Nicholas Yelmerson with Ikea. Very hot. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. This is hot. My goal is to help Chicago appreciate Swedish imports. Meatball. I do remember that. It has to cool off a little bit. Blackhawks, one goal. This is still toasting here. Yeah, that's bread. You want some bread, too? We're going to have meatballs and bread and soup. It's going to be good. Can I get a high five? Boom! High five! All right, let's taste this, Rose. I'm going to get the ultimate bite here. Look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, it's hot. I got a lot of cool down. I mean, look at that. It's loaded. You just know it's going to be good, and tomorrow it's going to be better. Second day soup's always better. Rose is staring at the iPad. OMG, Rose. High five, y'all. The flavor in this soup tastes like it's been boiling all day. Not like 30 minutes like we've been doing. But the flavor combinations, I'm telling you, of the bone broth okay. and the texture of the bone broth with the meatballs, with the cheese, with the olive oil, those sweet vegetables. There you go, sweetie. And the uh, pasta. I mean, it's really a meal in a bowl. Julio, so could see, Julio could see Al Borland from Home, Home Improvement eating that hearty bowl. <laughs> Let me try one with the meatball. Wow. But I'm telling you, the kicker, just like I tell you in the cookbook, is bone broth. The flavor, texture, and nutrients it brings to the party is next level. This will not be the same with water or normal stock from the grocery store. I promise you. TJ's vanilla bean paste has four grams of sugar per teaspoon. Sugar is the first ingredient on the list. Four grams per teaspoon? Ooh, that's too much. Oh my God. The meatballs. Because we put the almond flour on there, they're light. They're juicy. Oh my, another high five, Rose. That's so good. Boom. Wow. That is so good. I'm going to make a bowl for Art and Kara. Let me Thank just you. make this uh, first. But I'm telling you guys, when you make this, I'll type the recipe up. And I'll put it in the description box. Could I have it ready from the cookbook? Use the bone broth. So either make your own, or I have to give the shout out once again. Kettle and Fire was nice enough to give this promo code here. This promo code is 30% off for 48 hours only using Flav City. Go to their website. It's free shipping. Use Flav City at checkout. That beef bone broth, that's 100% grass-fed, grass-finished, makes the dish. And in case you didn't hear me say it earlier, bone broth, is rich in collagen. This is collagen. See Rose's cheeks and how big and plump and beautiful they are? That's collagen, Rose. As you get older, Rose, like daddy, I'm 42 years old, I know I'm old, your natural collagen decreases, which is why I take collagen powder every day. But the collagen and gelatin adds to the body of the soup, Rose, but also the chondroitin in the bone broth is gut friendly and immune system boosting, which is why Desi and I have a cup of that every single day, especially in cold and flu season, because it really restores your body and your immune system, and I swear by it. So yes, we'll start making more now that the weather's getting cold, but high five, right? Hands up. Hail Mary, right? Touchdown, Jesus! Yeah, we did it! We did it, right? Oh, I'm gonna make you guys a bowl now. You like it the soup. You like it the soup is right. Now, you, Finley. hold on. We're not done yet. Look at my beautiful bread here, Art. Okay, take our bread. We take our golden Kerrygold, KGB, KGGB, Kerrygold garlic butter. We go like this, right? And take it. You go, uh, yes, 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 please. We go spoon it all over. Jackie Adam Spiegel, you were amazing, 1999. Thank, oh, Jack, thank you, Jackie. A little bit of salt. Mm. Yeah. A little bit of that Spanish EVOO. Here, Rose, I'm going to give you a... Because there's not enough fat in there. Yes. <laughs> Here, Rose, chomp on this. A little more... Pasta. There you go. Now I take this beautiful Okay, I'm at the crusty piece actually. Dry by itself. 
Oh my God, it's so buttery and good. But then, Rose, I got this. You like the juice, Rose? You like the juice? Ah, you like the juice. Oh, mm. heaven. That is heaven. Oh my God, wait you guys try this. You're gonna flip your lids. Okay. Oh my God, it's almost six o'clock, jeez. Dusty hasn't come out here yet, y'all do us. It's shocking. Okay, uh, let me also get going on that in a second. Tatiana started with the hashtag feed art, and now she says feed Tati. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're like, you want a little dibs on that, right? Extra meatballs here. Yeah. What do you want, Rose? Here. Cheese. Have a couple more pasta noodles here. Ooh. There you go, my dear. Okay, that's one for Art. One for Kara. It's nice to have the um, that spaghetti squash. While it's not something I would eat on its own, it's nice to have it uh, in there just to add a little body and extra fiber. 1,300 people watching right nice. now. Nice. Well, you guys came at the right time. Okay. Take this. Yep. Finish your guys' soups off. Then we got to sign off because I don't want to run overtime so Rose can have her net, her uh, bath at uh, 6.30. A little bit of EVOO. Oh. Go to Jane. What's the calorie count slash service on the bread? Uh, on, the, on, on the bread? Yeah. Uh, we, I, we don't care about that. I don't care about calories. I don't care about fat. I care about ingredients and quality. That's all I care about. Okay, I need one more bite of mine before you guys come in here because this is legit, like legit. Mmm. Forget about it. Oh my god. Die, 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 die loves you. But the garlic bread. Yeah, right here. Okay. It's all served. Oh, careful, Rusty. Is unbun gluten free? Of course, it's keto and gluten free and grain free. If you're gonna do keto, you should never have gluten in there. I hate these keto products that have gluten. And then back out the carbs with uh, fiber. That's bogus. That's not how you do it. Okay. Done, done, done. Russ, let me give you another meatball here. I think you're not even going to be hungry for dinner now, though, huh? Dad, yeah. yeah. Did Daddy do good or did Daddy do good, huh, Rusty? Yeah. Okay. Enjoy your thing. Okay. But is it gangbusters? It's G to the busters, Viviana. What about lights out? Lights. Out. I can't say it anymore. Don't ask me that question anymore. Okay. R3T. I'm not wireless. I'm going to see. Ooh, hardwired here. Hardwired. Hardwired. Oh, Okay. Taste test time. There you go. For Kara with a C. This one's mine? And R3T. I'm going to see the third. Either one is yours. They're all the same. Except the one that I ate. There he is. Hashtag Hello. feed art. I'm going to start with the garlic bread. start with the garlic right. bread. Why not? That's buttery. Yeah, very buttery. <laughs> right? But that's all right. It's really good though. Oh yeah. Coach Jane says, hardwired? Is it 1998? <laughs> that's funny, dude. Mm -hmm. Dinner's ready, Desi, if you want to come out. I just think the bread and the soup is just like, G to the bust, Vivi. Broth is very flavorful. Right. I'm gonna try some of the meatball. For the meatball, it's really good. I mean, you can try the meatball. Combination of vegetables, rayos, and kettle and fire bone broth. That's it. Easy shortcuts for home cooks using best in class ingredients. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Yeah, lots of great flavors. They really, That's really good. Complement each other. Really good. Thank you, Kara. Totally you right. A, yeah, if you could, thank you. That was delicious. Flavor profile, Art, you requested. I'm guessing who said that. Uh, I forgot. Very complicated. <laughs> Very good. No. And, Lots uh, of flavors. Viviana wants to remind Brad that 98 was a great year. Okay. <laughs> Very complicated. Very delicious. Hashtag best in class. Way to say, Scotty boy. Oh, we got the four emojis from Jackie Haddam. I agree. Even Rose is like, give me more meatballs. Dude. Symphony of flavors. I'll, I'll push it yep. To you. And it just gets better and better the next day, the next day. Yeah, because you got that 
What type of uh, squash noodle is that? Spaghetti, uh, spaghetti squash. squash. Yeah, it's, it's actually very nice in the soup. I would not make a pasta out of it. I think you might be disappointed. But in a soup or a chili, we should make a pressure cooker chili coming up soon. Mm -hmm. And after you do the bolognese. Yeah, after a three-hour bolognese. How about in between? Actually, we'll start the bolognese and then make a chili in between. If you're looking for a complaint, you're not going to find <laughs> it. Either, so. That's not how I roll. All right, fantastic. Good. Oh, so that's Delicious. that, my friends. Crushing life, doing it the Flav City way. Um, that's it. Gonna plate up some more food. Uh, what else is going on? So uh, in tomorrow's video, which is the Walmart Supercenter, we got the link for the new InstaFuel Chai Tea Latte, which is amazing. Um, don't sleep on this 48-hour sale. I know a lot of people on Instagram took advantage uh, from Kettle on Fire. Link down below. Click it. Go to Kettle on Fire. Use Flav City to get 30% off in free shipping. It's only good for 48 hours. And when you cook recipes with soups, stews, and chilies and sauces, I swear by bone broth for the nutritive properties and for the texture and flavor. And uh, tomorrow's video is Walmart Supercenter. Later in the week, we have a Target video coming out. Art and I are going to go to the farm on Thursday and film videos about raw milk, pasture-raised chicken, all that good stuff. Um, but that's it. All right, we're going to eat. Karen and I are going to clean. Art's going to put out the lights. We'll do it again tomorrow, the next day. That's our life. It's like Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. Every, every single day is the same. But we love it, right, Russ? We love it. Uh, that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Spread the love about Wave City. Oh, and Mommy's coming, too. Come say mo goodbye to everyone, Mom. Are you Come streaming on. Thursday? Of course. We'll be here Thursday. We'll be here Friday. Mama. D-Slop, you got to try this. DJ D-Slop comes in the perfect time. Try my wedding suit, Mom. This soup oh, is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-